my name's Adam, I'm one of the founders and the technical director here at TSO Host. In this video, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of how our power distribution and generator backup systems function. This is our standard mains failover test, which we perform monthly to ensure all backup systems operate correctly without human intervention. Our data center has 2N redundant mains distribution with an A and a B side. Each server has two power feeds, one from each side, so that we can survive an entire failure of one side with no loss of service. In the test, we test each side individually. You will see three cameras, one viewing a rack of servers, one viewing the generators, and one which shows myself operating the controls. First, we isolate the mains power to the A side. The servers are fed directly from the UPS and will see no drop in power. However, you may hear the air handlers spin down as these, as these are fed from the non-critical supply. The A-side generator changeover controller will now send the generator a signal to start. The generator comes up to full power and signals the changeover controller that it is ready to accept load. The changeover controller transfers the A-side critical load to the generator. Next, we turn off the B-side mains. The lights are fed from the B-side non-critical supply and you will see them go off at this point. The servers, however, are still fed from both UPSs. You will again hear a drop in noise from the air handlers. The B-side generator changeover controller will then signal the generator to start and once started, load is transferred to the B-side generator. The building is now running entirely on generators. This is where we cut the cameras. We will run the building on generators for 30 minutes to give them a thorough test and then return the building to mains power one side at a time. Um, the handle I'm now pumping primes the circuit breaker, or then close the circuit breaker. You will see that the A panel has detected that mains is now available again. The changeover controller will wait for 30 seconds before it transfers the load to mains to ensure the main supply is stable. I will then do the same on the B side, and after 30 seconds proving, the load is transferred back to mains. You will notice the lights go off again due to the gap between the generator breaker opening and the mains breaker closing. However, the servers are powered by the UPS throughout. The generators are now idle, but will continue to run for five minutes in case the main supply proves to be unstable and they are required again. 